Yo, what's up, yo? This is Killer Priest, and I'm representing right now for Kofi Universe. That universe is the universe you should be in. YouTube salute. Jeezy provides receipts disproving his ex-wife domestic abuse claims. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So Jeezy is maintaining his innocence amid domestic abuse allegations from um, Jenny May, Jenny Ma, whatever her name is, Jenny May, as he's now coming with receipts. So his ex-wife made the claim in court documents filed on Wednesday and obtained by Hip Hop DX, so shout out to Hip Hop DX with this information. In response, Jeezy first released a statement denying her claim, then shared receipts in the form of text messages and photos with the Jasmine brand. And one of the handful of incidents may detail in her documents, one instance includes a situation with a golf cart that she alleged took place in April 2022. That's two years ago, damn. In his photos and texts, Jeezy attempts um, to show how the jury happened as an accident that neither were at fault for and that injured them both. All right. So in Jenny's motion, which was request for the courts to enforce the um, force of settlement, excuse me, the TV host alleged that Jeezy, real name J. Wayne Jenkins, subject, subject her to a physical abuse and their child to neglect during an event in December 2022. May further contended that Jeezy choked her out, called her a effing B-I-T-C-H and claimed that he couldn't wait to divorce her. She also claimed that Jeezy had a drinking problem that his violence would escalate, that he was drunk and he once left their daughter alone with an AK-47 in a Louis Vuitton bag. Finally, May alleged that Jeezy would also um, subject his eldest son to the same type of abuse. Jeezy's first response was, y'all know me. He captioned the post, which read, the allegations are not only false, but also deeply disturbing, especially coming from someone I love. This malicious attempt to tarnish my character and disrupt my family is ridiculous. He continued, it's disheartening to witness the uh, manipulation at play. And at this time, my main concern is being an active father to our daughter as I continue to fight for court mandated joint custody. Rest assured, the truth will prevail through the proper legal channels. Previously, Jeezy asked for a hearing to organize a temporary parenting schedule, one which will give each parent equal time with their daughter. Additionally, he claimed that after working out an informal custody agreement, he still hasn't been able to see his daughter throughout much of this year. He also shot down May's claim that his guns are the reason she's kept the child for him as unfair, explaining that he always had guns and never put her in harm's way. He also said that he's been unable to FaceTime his daughter as May has blocked his phone number. This request came after Jenny's response to Jeezy's claims that she's gatekeeping their daughter amid their divorce by outright denying the claims. Wow, this is sad, man. This is sad because at the end of the day, who suffers? That little girl. She's the one that's suffering. Um, you know, but this is what happens when you go to court. When it's child custody, when it's joint custody for a child, divorce, all these type of things, it gets nasty and dirty. It gets nasty and dirty, man. Like, it's, it's never nothing like, oh, let's just be friends. Hell no. When I went through my divorce with my ex-wife, like, the paperwork part was cool. That was easy. But she did some grimy-ass shit. She went around lying to everybody, said I did her wrong and all this. I'm like, man, I didn't even do that shit. Like, my situation was divorcing you because you gave me an ultimatum. You said if I didn't kiss your daddy ass, <laughs> you wasn't going to have no children with me. I said, peace in the Middle East. Well, Africa, wherever you want to call it, I'm just saying, like, nah, that ain't happening. So, but since some people can't get what they want, they will play victim. They will turn all their family and friends against you to make them seem like they're innocent. That's why I tell people now, moving forward, I don't want to be tight with nobody's family. 
I don't want to go around nobody's family. Keep, keep keep me at a distance. Don't bring me. Don't introduce me to your friends. Nah, I don't want to be. I don't want to see nobody because people are scandalous, man. People will make people turn on you, and you didn't do nothing. You can be the innocent person with all the proof and evidence. It don't matter. So at the end of the day, if Jeezy's innocent, I'm just saying, and she's lying on him, and she gets maybe full custody, and he don't. At the end of the day, he did all that shit for what? Got married to this woman. She she says she never cared for having children anyway in the past. And look what happened. So who fault can that really be at the end of the day? You got to study people. You got to do your research. You got to really take your time. Understand a person's mind, their trauma, study their family, ask questions. That's what we don't do no more. We're so busy thinking with the other head. We don't think with our brain. Think with your brain because marriage, having children is the biggest investment you can ever make. Post your comments below. Post smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support, donate to the channel. I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Universe. Venmo Cash App, PayPal, Screen Labs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.